Okay, so... Azmat suit. Cruiser. Junker. Charger. Box truck. <laughs> Does this have like a shitload of storage space in it? Um, M117. Oh, we got a chopper, you guys. Oh, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst on 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is uh, Horde Night 119. So I uh, spent a couple days off camera working on stuff again around the base. Um, and have some irrigation stuff to show you after uh, the Horde Night's over. And, uh, yeah, so haven't really done anything different with the Horde base. Uh, made a couple of small changes outside uh, but pretty much just, you know, fix it up and repair it, and we're good to go. So i got lots of pipe bombs in here uh, for tonight. A uh, nice little supply of ammo. I don't know why I've got the sleeping bag or the dirt in there, but anyways, I do. And so, yeah, uh, this is going to be pretty much a repeat of the last Horde night. We're simply going to throw explosion, uh, explosives at them all night. You can see that I'm a little over halfway to the next level and uh, actually have a point to spend here, too. I need to decide <clears throat> what I want to put that in. I really should start cranking up demolitions expert. But man, these bombs are still just, you know, doing so much damage as they are. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I don't want to make this decision quite yet. Um, I want to, um, you know, get started here uh, or, or get the, the Horde Knight over and see how many points we get tonight. You know, because I'm right, uh, I'm, I'm getting higher in level. It's taking longer to get to the next level. But I, I'm expecting hopefully to get, you know, two three levels maybe tonight if everything goes well and uh, so yeah i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna show the whole night uh, at, at, like i've been doing because it, it gets to be kind of just the same thing uh so we'll just show kind of bits and pieces highlights if you will maybe just do you know one song's worth of horde night uh and, and anything you know super crazy that happens of course we'll show on camera too so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning and then uh we'll we'll work on some some irrigation and some other stuff okay wish me luck
All right, guys, it is morning, and we had a very smooth, hard night. Um, no issues at all. Uh, we did have a behemoth come in, but, um, I mean, I had I had to kill him with my, my M60 because he's too big to fit in the explosion chamber here. Uh, lots of super monsters early on, but that seems to be the... Uh, that seems to be the pattern that I've noticed is you get the super monsters early, but then, you know, you start getting a little after midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and then it just, it's just normal zombos. Well, normal as in ferals and irradiators, but no super monsters. Uh, so anyway, yeah, everything went really well. Um, we did have a, a cop spit come through once and damage this door. I think I'm going to upgrade that door to a steel vault door. There's no reason not to. Um, so let's finish up the rest of these zombos here, then we'll take a uh, get our lucky looters on, check, take a look at the bags, and then take a look at our points. Are you two the only two left? I hear more footsteps. Um, I was a little more conservative on the explosives this time too. Um, as you can see, I still have several stacks left, because what I did this time is I would wait till they, you know, they grouped up, and then I would blow them up, and... Um, you know, that way we're conserving the explosives and we get more XP per explosion. So it seemed to work out pretty good. Okay. Scary music is done. There's still a crawler around somewhere. Um, so let's head on out. Uh, we're going to turn... Actually, oh. Wow, that got damaged. It was from the cop spit that came through. That got damaged too. I might upgrade all of this stuff to... Uh, uh, to, to steal vault doors. There's no reason not to. Had a couple hits on the outside here, too. Um, you know, sometimes the zombies, you know, because I'm so close to the edge, they'll hit the cage, but not a, you don't, they don't focus on it, so I'm not at all worried about it. We might even at some point um, go full polished steel, but I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Polished steel is so expensive. Okay, we got some bags in here. Oh, look at that. They actually busted out that steel block. Interesting. Uh, now, I screwed up, and I didn't have my my nerdies on all night, um, but I couldn't come out and get them once I realized that. But even with that, I mean, we still got... Um, here, let's put these on. Uh, we still have... We got three levels in total because I had one to begin with, and we're almost to the next level. So even if I would have had the nerdies on, we I'm sure we would have hit another level. So it kind of sucks that I forgot to wear those, but it is what it is. All right, so let's check our bags here. Um, there's some fairly decent damage along in here too. So yeah, I'm going to, we're going to have to keep upgrading this to steel, which is of course the plan as I, you know, as I can, uh, make it and all that. So let's see if the, Ooh, that's really nice. That's very nice. Okay. Um, this looks really good down here though. Actually last time they had like torn a whole bunch of this dirt and stuff out, but, uh, yeah, it looks great down here. So j other than just, you know, surface damage that we'll have to repair, uh, we're in good shape there. So, yeah, I'm going to probably need to get all these, you know, this uh, lower set of blocks upgraded to steel as well. It's interesting that there's more focus over here, though. Anyways, let's get these bags before they despawn. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we need to... Uh, we're still looking for the... I think it's either the boots or the gloves. I think it's... I think it's the gloves on that and then we'll have a full hazmat suit um those are nice definitely okay a little steel and iron to help with the repairs some ammo ignition okay so yeah not a whole lot of bags but i wonder if my um if my explosives do damage to the bags. I don't know. That seems to me like we should have we should have a few more bags than that. But overall, can't complain. Uh, very minimal damage to the base. Um, really good XP for us. And again, it would have been better if I would have been wearing the nerdies. Uh, oh wow. Okay, so we do have some damage up here. I wonder if. I wonder if the behemoth did this. Interesting. I don't know. Like I said, we had a lot of super monsters, and the super monsters, some of them anyways, can very rapidly uh, damage blocks. I mean, like, crazy fast damage blocks. And so, um, 
I'm, I don't know, maybe it was the behemoth that did this. At least they didn't hit that part up there because that's our, you know, that is the other end of our electric fence. So, yeah, uh, what this basically means is, is we need to get this whole chamber upgraded to steel, which is my intention anyways. Um, I just haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, the most important part, of course, is this whole front wall and, you know, all of this little section of the cage, uh, which is upgraded steel, of course. So even if this whole roof would have collapsed and some of these blocks would have broken, as long as this wall stays put, um, we're, we're in good shape. And I can reach all of that from inside to repair it. So excellent. Okay, guys. Well, yeah, I'll have a little, I have a little bit of work to do, of course, uh, over here to repair and, and upgrade. That's, of course, stuff I'll do off camera, but very successful Horde Knight overall. Um, all right, so let's see. So I'd like to damage this a little bit too. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and head on back now. And the next part of this episode is we're going to work on on some irrigation. So I've been having some interesting. Um, inter I've been having an interesting time with irrigation uh, here in my version of the mod. Oh, you know what? I think we ran out of power. Okay, we can fix that. Uh, what I've been trying to do, we're going to make that jump. Oh, shit. No, <laughs> it's too bad you couldn't open these manually. You know, um, I'm uh, a bit encumbered. That's why I wasn't able to make that jump. As usual, our spikes have been doing a beautiful job, um, you know, keeping the zombos here at home at bay. Such a simple solution, too. All right, let's turn this off. Let's turn this on. And that should start re <clears throat> recharging these batteries, and we should now have power once again on our our drawbridge. We got the morning yahoos in here. All right, so let's see here. What do we got going on in this bike here? I'm just going to let the spikes take care of those guys, and then I'll go out and repair them later. It's it's It works out so good, you know? Uh, okay, so let's see. We nor we've we normally been wearing these uh, because uh, it, it, of our pain tolerance, uh, what it does for pain tolerance, that sort of thing. Is there anything in here I want to sell? Uh, definitely want to sell that. Not necessarily wanting to sell this yet. I don't know, though. There's not really any reason for me to use this rifle because we've got this one, you know. The sucker does 123 damage wanted. So, but I have a few more of these, so I might end up selling those. Uh, we got the cash, of course, that will sell. And I don't think there's anything else at the moment without looking more closely that I would want to sell there. So let me just drop a couple things off here. Uh, this is great. I'm already wearing a SWAT helmet. In fact, I think I showed... Uh, or I will. No, I guess I didn't. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I did a little bit off-camera looting and stuff, and I have some clips to show you, and in one of those clips, I found this helmet here. So let's take a look at that right now.
Okay, so yeah, we got this, but this is great because now what I can do is repair this and then use it to do a combined repair with this and still keep it, you know, nice and high level. Uh, so we'll keep that in there. I'm starting to, I don't really need these anymore because all of my armor plating are the, the max level ones now. So we could sell those. Um, you can't, last time I checked anyways, you can't put a mod on a piece of armor and then sell it for a higher price in Ravenhurst. Um, for whatever crazy reason, they nerfed that. So that kind of sucks. Um, but we're doing good. We're, we're going to have to start thinking about repairing these two pieces fairly soon. But let's put that in there. Put that stuff in there, and we'll put some of our explosives and ammunition back away that we don't need to be carrying right now. Okay, so I got all the stuff put away. So here's the thing uh, with the irrigation. Let's uh, deal with these guys. Yeah, you just walk right down onto the spikes. There you go. Good boy. So you guys were telling me in the comments that you have placed a pump next to a well and it works perfectly this pump has been sitting next to this well for three full in-game days so for 72 in-game hours and as you can see it is not filling up with water i don't know why but for whatever reason it's not working for me okay so <laughs> there you go can't explain it maybe it's because i'm on the older version of ravenhurst but it's not working um i tried it I first tried it with, uh, I actually put the well on a concrete slab just because I thought it would, you know, it would be a little more uh, sturdy that way. I, and I could pull water out of the well with jars, you know, as normal, uh, but it didn't work. So I figured, okay, well, maybe it has something to do with the concrete. So I put, you know, I pulled everything back up, put the dirt back in place, put the well back down, um, and then tried it again, and it's still not working. So I'm, I'm either doing something wrong, or it doesn't work in this version, or it's buggy, or whatever. So... I'm giving up on, on that, okay? Probably even going to pull that stuff up. So what we're doing instead is I was able to get the pump to work inside my pool. So you can see the pump is full and all the pipes are full and everything's good, you know, with that. And um, I'm hoping that this doesn't actually drain the water in the pool. I don't think it will, um, but, we, you know, we'll see. Uh, also, by the way, I did fix the water in the pool, too. I did a live stream on Saturday, October 23rd. Um, and in that live stream, I fixed the water. Uh, I also We also did a, a Tier 4 uh, POI in the lodge. And I didn't actually record that as an episode. Um, but if you guys want to watch it, just watch that live stream from October 23rd if you want to see how all of that went down. Okay, so anyway, we uh, we fixed the water of the pool, and now I'm, what my plan is, is I'm going to run the pipes over to here, and I'm going to run it over to here, and then down to here, and that gives me four, actually gives me five slots, but I want to have like a little pathway through here. So it gives me four slots, and I can till all of this ground and run the pipes down that way and down that way. And I could, if I wanted to, I could even dig this up uh, four blocks to this side and plant crops there too. Uh, but then I can, what I can do is I can run the pipe all the way down here. I'm going to have to redo all of these ditches here. So I'm going to have to fill all this in, retail it. Uh, but run the pipe, you know, down here to maybe this point and then run it straight down this way, right? And then I can plant the crops basically just going the other direction on each side of the pipe as it goes down this way. So that's my plan uh, for, you know, for the garden, okay? Um, most of that I'm gonna do off camera, um, but I just wanted to, to go over it with you now so you you know what I'm planning uh, to do there, okay? So yeah, let's uh, take a look next at points and we'll see where we are uh, with the points and what we're going to do with them. So let's jump back up here. All right, so we've got four points to spend. We were focused very heavily on, uh, what was it? Fortitude. Now, I could dump three of those four points into actual fortitude. And if I do that, then I no longer have to wear the tough guy sunglasses to get you know the max level fortitude benefits such as pain tolerance and living off the land and eventually healing factor and so on and so forth um you know then i don't have to screw with wearing glasses and switching glasses out and that was you know 
that was partly why I didn't have my nerdies on because I've been wearing the Fortitude glasses. So we could do that. Um, and that, that's going to be a convenience thing for us. Or we could keep messing with the glasses and start putting points into some other things that we need to put some points into. So let's just kind of look at, at what those might be. Normally, in a vanilla playthrough of Seven Days to Die, I would have been pumping points into Demolitions Expert. But for whatever reason, just your basic pipe bomb still one-shots almost every zombie in this game. Um, I mean, even the super zombies. And I don't know why, because I haven't, you know, I only have one point <laughs> in the Demolitions Expert. Uh, but, you know, a Demolitions is not a, a, a skill that you can level by using. So I'm wondering if, you know, the Ravenhurst mods just gave you the max level of it right out of the box, maybe? I don't know. I'm not complaining, mind you, uh, but it's just a little bit odd. But normally I would be putting points into this, right? So our explosives would be more, would be stronger, and I would at least get to level 3 to craft grenades. But the, the fact of the matter is, is I don't need to. I mean, why craft grenades when you can make pipe bombs that are going to be just as effective and they're way, way cheaper to make? You know what I mean? So that's kind of what's going on with that. I always like to take Penetrator. I always like to get Lucky Looter up. So those are two areas that we, you know, that we could focus on in Perception. Um, Treasure Hunter, eh, you know, it's not something I do all the time, so that's not really that big of a deal to me. Never have ever put points in an Animal Tracker. Just don't need it. Infiltrator uh, is a PvP thing, pretty much. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess you take less damage from mines and stuff, but you can also find the book for that, too. So those are really the ones that I would be interested in here. So again, uh, Lucky Looter and Penetrator. And I mean, normally dem Demolitions Expert, but like I said, I just haven't really needed to do that. Let's take a look at Strength. So we already got Sexy T and Motherload maxed out. Master Chef, the thing about Master Chef is that, I mean, you will eventually find, maybe not all, but many of the high level recipes. And I already know some of them. Like, you know, I can make like gumbo soup, for example, which is a really high level food. So I just, I, I don't, you know, I mean, you can cook faster, which is nice, of course, but use a few less ingredients. But I just don't see that as a necessary thing. So I think we're pretty much done with strength. Uh, heavy armor wouldn't be bad, of course, because then we would have less movement penalty and less durability, which is kind of a thing actually in Ravenhurst. More so than it is in uh, in vanilla, so that's actually something I should consider as heavy armor because I, you know, I wear heavy armor. All right, let's take a look at fort. So with fort, we want uh, I want to get healing factor maxed out. Iron gut is you know we're doing so good on food. the The thing about iron gut that would be useful is that the the buffs would last longer. Not so much, you know, the hunger part of it, but the buffs. So that would still be one, you know, to consider here in uh, Fortitude. Not interested in Huntsman or Well Insulated. Uh, just don't need it. Okay, so let's take a look at Agility. Run and Gun would be very useful. Um, you know, just because of hip fire and reloading more quickly. And Hidden Strike would be also very useful. So those are kind of the two that I would be interested here in the Agility trait. Let's take a look at Intellect. Um, so Grease Monkey... Here, you know, I already know the how to make the uh the the whatchamacallit? The the gyrocopter, right? I already know how to make it because I got the schematics for it, so there's no point in putting any points at all, any more points into Grease Monkey. Um advanced engineer we we know effectively when we have the nerdies on. Physician would be a good one, because this is gonna give us um better healing with bandages. So that one we should be thinking about. Daring Adventure wouldn't be a bad one to put a point into either. And yeah. Okay, so I think that kind of goes, covers all of the, you know, the points that we um, could still put some stuff into. Now, we do have, uh, you know, these points here, too. But, uh, pistol weapon, shotgun weapons. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything here that we need to do anything with for now. Okay, so, that being the case, the question now is, what are we going to, what are we going to put points into now? Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're going to put some we're gonna put some perception points in. So I want more penetration, especially you know you know now that we have you know highly armored zombies and 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 that sort of thing. Uh, so let's put a point into pin, um, and I want to put some points into lucky looter too. 
Um, which means we need to start putting points into perception straight up. So, okay, let's get Lucky Looter up a point, and can we get our, uh, Penetrator up one more point? Okay, that requires Perception 4. So let's take Perception 4, and then the next, you know, when we level, which is going to happen very quickly, um, then I will get Pin uh, Level 2 uh, for that. Okay, so I'm going to work on those points in the Perception Tree. Once we're finished with the Perception Tree, we'll probably just go down the line uh, from here and keep taking, you know, the rest of the ones we need. I, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get this up a little higher too, but I think we're doing okay, um, you know, as far as that goes. All right, guys, so that covers all the points usage. Um, that took a little bit, a little while to get through, but hopefully, you know, you guys found that interesting enough. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do now is I don't have any quests on the, you know, uh, quests lined up at the moment. Oh, wait, we do have some of these quests, don't we? Uh, we could actually craft a second chemistry station because, you know, that way we could use... We could double our production, so that wouldn't be bad. We also have beehives to do, too. Yeah, maybe we'll work on some of this for the rest of this episode. Why don't we do that? All right, so that being the case, um, how about if we do the beehive? Uh, this should be really easy. So we basically need two tarps and eight bees. We have to stay in here to finish crafting it. Okay, so now let's look at this quest again to make sure I'm not doing something I'm not supposed to. So place the beehive and then upgrade the beehive. Okay, so let's place the beehive. Does it go any particular direction? Nope. Requires eight bees. All right, so let's put the bees here. There we go. Um, additional food. Gather microwave and place microwave. Something we've done a million years ago. Can I pick this? I should be able to pick that up, right? Yeah, because I did it at my other base. I hope this doesn't... Okay, yeah, that worked. There we go. All right, that's done. Now you want me to do like the toaster and the coffee maker next? Quest chain completed. Cooking in the wastelands. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got the, the journal notes for that. Okay, that these we're keeping in here. Excellent. Okay, we got that part done. fan freaking fantastic Let's take a look and see what's next. Um, <clears throat> completing your journal. So it wants us to gather four. I think we only have the three because we have to finish this other quest, right? Yeah, we only have three pieces. Okay. Um, Let's put the bees back in uh, here. Okay, now um, I am absolutely fine with crafting another chemistry station. So let's do that next. Let's make this the active quest too. So these are all gathered, which is great, because that means we don't have to stay in a crafting machine. There's the beaker. Uh, Bunsen burner, I think, is something we can make in the forge. Okay, let's craft our Bunsen burner here. What's next? Three cooking pots. Should be able to make those in here, too, because I don't think I have cooking pots. Uh, what are we short on here? Oh, iron. Um, do I not have any iron? Can I make the cooking pots in here? There's some iron in here. Nope. Okay. Uh, I have some iron down in the mine. Let me go grab it real quick. I guess I have one cooking pot up here, so we'll grab that one. Mm 
We'll make the other two in here. Let's see. What else we're going to need? Uh, 30 iron pipe. And five bottles of acid. And then the other two cooking pots. There we go. Okay, so um, it says gather chemistry station. So I guess we don't have to stay in the thing to craft it, huh? There we go. Okay, so let's uh, wait for that to cook up. Now we have to figure out where we're going to put it. Uh, I'd like to put it next to this one. So we could, we could move this. Uh, where would we put that? I was planning on putting another forge here. But, I mean, the the bench would fit nicely in this spot. And we can just go through this door here. Yeah, let's, um, let's move this. And then we'll put the Kim bench over here. Yeah, let's just put it there. That should work. All right, while we're waiting for the uh, Kim bench to finish, it's almost done. Uh, let's grab these pipes, and I got a couple of the other types in there. I'm going to uh, pick up these shotgun turrets at some point. Problem is, my land claim block doesn't reach far enough for me to actually pick this one up, so I'd have to either redo the land claim block, which I guess I could do. It's not that big a deal. Uh, or break it. Uh, okay, so uh, what's what I want to do, like I said, is I want to bring the pipe all the way out to here. But let's do this. Let's put down um, some frames for support. I don't know, how, you know, what the SI is on these, but I just want to make sure that it's supported until I get the, um, you know, the the vertical part over on this side in place. So let's just put that up there. And then we want to do this. And we're coming to here. So I think we want to put the curved piece up here. Looks like I'm going to have to rotate that a different way. Is that correct, though? Yeah, that's that's right. Okay, so let's do a advanced rotation. Like that. Okay, and then uh, we will bring the straight pipes down. I don't think the zombies will try and climb on this. I, ho I hope they don't. Um, so, advanced rotation... Like so. That'll come down to there. And then we want to put a T in here. There. Right here. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll run a pipe, you know, down to the end of here. And then, of course, continue running a pipe down to the end of... Oh, actually, right... Probably to about the center of here, or four blocks into here, and then we'll curve it and run it that way. Um, and then you know that way we can plant crops on both sides. And you know the thing about this too is I could actually go. Now that I think about it some more, we could bury this down uh, into the ground because then you know then we can walk over it and we we'll have to jump over it. And the zombies won't have to jump over it either. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go down one more block here and bury this underground. Okay, so let's go back and finish our chemistry station. Okay, so we've gathered the chem station, and I'm just going to stick it. We could do that. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, I don't, I rarely come through this way anyway, so it's not a big deal. Now it wants to, <laughs> to do another blacksmith forge. I've already built two of those son of a bitches. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, ooh, what am I going to do with it? Well, I guess... 
Could, could I just pick it up and put it back down? We might have to gather all of the pieces and then after that, pick it up and put it down. There we go. Okay, so the other blacksmith station is down. And we've completed the quest chain. Nice. Okay, so what that means is we have all four of those things. And um, let's go back to here. Completing your journal, craft, completed journal. Do we do that? Now that you've learned the basics of Ravenhurst, <laughs> yeah, I'm this far into it. It's time to take the knowledge that you've learned and complete your journal. When you have acquired all completed journal chapters, your training will be complete, and you will receive a special gift left in your care by two brothers who devoted their lives to stopping this apocalypse, but ultimately failed. They have entrusted it to you. Use it wisely. Um. Oh, we get the hazmat suit recipe. Okay. The cruiser schematic. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're going to get like a bunch of vehicle schematics. ACM-117. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So I guess we do this in here. Here, let's go. Recipes. Completed journal. Personal craft station. Oh, we need the... This thing, too. Survival journal. Nice. Look at all this, you guys. Man, freaking tastic. Okay, so. Azmat suit. Cruiser. Junker. Charger. Box truck. <laughs> Does this have like a shitload of storage space in it? Um. M117. Oh, we got a chopper, you guys. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Okay, that's going to be so awesome. An old phone. Don't know what we do with that. Uh, what does this say? Nothing. What the hell are we supposed to do with this? I guess we put it down in here. Let's put this in here. Um, we'll put it there. Okay, what's this do? Population control 25. A strange note I found. Oh, da, da, da. Oh, so are these like custom quests? Ah, okay, I think these are a strange note I found. Yeah, these must be like custom quests that we can do. We'll have to check that out. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Okay, cool. Um, And then do we do anything else with this? You have traveled the long road, Prospect. Your training is now complete. Enjoy these gifts I leave to you. You can take this book and scrap it for a nice boost in your knowledge. Ooh. Oh, okay, so that, that just gives us these things. Okay, cool. All right, you guys, we finally, we're, we're level 76, and we finally finished the, all the Ravenhurst quests. The thing about those quests, though, is they're, they're obviously not stuff you can do all in the beginning game, because some of, you know, some of these things, you have to be fairly, you know, far advanced into the game to, to make them, you know? Um, so, yeah, that was fun, and we got some good stuff. I'm a particularly interested in that uh, chopper, uh, what was that thing called again? That chopper that we got, um, I forgot to, what it was called now. It's not, it's not called chopper. Uh, let's go look, it's probably in here, I'm sure, in the vehicle workbench, uh, which is this thing here. Yeah, the ACM1. So that's 
not going to be cheap, which it shouldn't be. Forged Chrome. Uh, plus, we need a socket, which I have never, ever seen a socket in this game to date. Is that something I can make? I want I want the dirt bike. I loved the dirt bike in um, uh, War As UK when I played that. The other thing too is the is the junker is the junker any better than the normal motorcycle or does it just look different, you know? MD50. A Willy Jeep, that's cool. Box truck. Does this say anything about I'm just wondering if this has, like, mass storage in it, because otherwise there'd be no practical reason to make it. It might be fun, but... Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, we got to figure out this whole socket thing, um, and I don't think I can make that. Let's see, does it even come up as a something you can make? Christmas stockings? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't think so, man. Unless it's... We learn it somehow, some way. My guess is it's probably like the crowbar. It's something we have to find, and it's probably not going to be easy to find. So, all right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing off camera is I'm going to work on basically work on this. So, if everything goes according to plan, uh, when I start the next episode, I should have all the pipes in place and the garden replanted and then we'll be doing very, very well on food. I mean, we're doing good on food now, but I, I just want to get this done. It's going to be fun, and uh, we'll be able to grow a nice big old pile of crops. The only concern I have at this point is I'm hoping that the pump doesn't drain the pool. I don't think it will, but I don't know. So if it does, you know, then we will figure out what the hell to do at that point. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, I'm giving up on this. This thing has literally been sitting here for three and a half in-game days now, and it still is not filling up from the well. And I, I don't know why. I, I can't explain it. Uh, the well itself works. So if we drink this water, see, we can get water from the well. So I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. So it's not working for me and I'm tired of waiting for it. We should have had this these crops planted a long time ago. And so that's what we're going to be doing now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.